Thank you, Alex. Uh, again, on behalf of Intuit, a uh, warm welcome. Can I get a show of hands of who are the folks visiting externally in the room here? Oh, wow, that's great. Welcome, welcome. Very excited to, see, to have you here. So I'm going to just spend a few minutes just to set a little context about what is Intuit, uh, why I think Intuit is such an awesome place for engineers, and then last but not least, why I think uh, Node is so important for Intuit. So uh, our mission is to improve our customers' financial lives so profoundly they can't imagine going back to the old way. This is a mission that started 30 years ago from our founder when he watched his wife struggle on the, on the, on the kitchen table to uh, balance checkbooks and pay bills. And uh, it's been the mission that's a durable mission that's lasted over the last 30 years and has transformed us into a $4.4 billion company. In case you're curious, uh, the kitchen table that it all started in is in the back of this building. So as you roam around and take a break, take the time to take a look at that. I think it's uh, uh, interesting. Uh, in, the, in the course of the 30 years, we've developed a number of products for consumers. Of course, TurboTax and our personal finance line of products, Quicken and Mint. Um, on the small business side, we now can truly say we have an ecosystem with QuickBooks accounting, payroll, and payments. And then for our accounts, accountants, we have a whole set of uh, professional series tax products that enable them to grow their businesses. Now, we were founded in 83, over 8,000 employees, 3,000, 3,500 or so engineers, 50 million customers, I said 4.5 billion in revenue. And you know, the remarkable thing uh, over the last 10 years is we've managed to shift a lot of that revenue from desktop to uh, online and mobile. It's been a really incredible journey for us. Now, why is Intuit an awesome place for engineers? So I think we, first of all, we're solving big, important problems. I think we have a very unique culture of innovation, and we're expanding globally. I talked about the four and a half billion. Uh, of that four and a half billion, only a tiny fraction is outside of the US. We have huge opportunities to grow expand globally. The big impro important problems that we're solving are, you know, we have 18 million uh, consumers that come to us to manage their personal finances, uh, and we do that job for them. We have 5.5 million small businesses using accounting, payroll, and payments to really run their businesses. Uh, millions and millions and billions of transactions going through there. And last but not least, we have over 30 million uh, filers every year that come to us to get their taxes done. Uh, and uh, as you know, tax is a very unforgiving uh, business where you got to file in time and the system's got to be up and they got to work, which says from a, from a systems perspective, we really have to get things right. We have over 300,000 concurrent users at peak, and these are not using doing ephemeral transactions. These are either critically filing their taxes on April 15th as they're, or 14th as they're scrambling to meet the deadline, uh, or running their business. Uh, we have over six petabytes of data to deliver really rich insights across consumers and small business. Uh, as a chief architect, I think some of those petabytes could probably go away, but that's a different story. Uh, and then, you know, over 100,000 compute nodes that are running all the infrastructure to serve that three and a half billion of uh, 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 online and mobile revenue that we just talked about. So uh, large scale, uh, big, big scale problems. We're also sol solving, I think, really interesting technology problems. We've embraced uh, uh, the public cloud. Uh, I don't know if uh, some of you uh, attended reInvent uh, a couple of weeks ago. We've uh, recently announced uh, Mint, our personal finance online product, is fully on the public cloud and running in AWS, which if you consider the kind of data uh, that we run and the kind of information that we have that, that really requires and raises the bar on security and scale in a way that I don't think many companies can talk about. We have a huge shift from moving as a portfolio company, a company with lots of products, to a company that has ecosystems around consumers, around tax, and uh, around small businesses. Uh, and that journey to an ecosystem and having seamless experiences across our products is pushing us really, really big into making sure that everything we do, we do as a service. And this is a huge corporate initiative um, that is not only a technology initiative for Intuit, but it's something that uh, starts with our CEO and our general manager, and we're transforming our business into a service-oriented business. 
And in the journey, of course, uh, lots of challenges and opportunities with data. We're looking to create network effects to build durable advantage. And we're leaning really, really heavily into platform thinking. So super exciting opportunities for engineers uh, here at Intuit. And all of this is steeped into a culture of innovation. And you know, everybody says we have a culture of innovation, but you know, it starts with our customer-driven innovation model, where we look for the big customer problem that we solve well, and then we look for the durable advantage. And it's that intersection that really yields those large-scale, big business opportunities. We adopt a framework called Design for Delight, where we steep into deep customer empathy. We started with you know, a lot of follow me homes and looking at customers. In this day and age, it's all about data and how do we track those customers' behaviors and understand and get empathy through the data. We then look for broadly to go for the broad type of solutions until we narrow, we go broad and then to go narrow. And then we use rapid experimentation to validate that. And rapid experimentation is really exciting over the last few years. We've worked closely with Eric Reese and the whole uh, lean startup uh, uh, culture. Uh, Scott's been collaborating with Eric and we've created actually a framework, uh, a rapid experimentation loop that enables all of our engineers, 3,000 plus engineers, to really rapidly experiment and learn. And it's really changed us from, you know, the guy with the biggest paycheck having the opinion or with the best PowerPoint <laughs> uh, being able to uh, convince uh, a particular initiative to really use data and experimentation to drive how do we do the best things for our customers. And then last but not least, uh, we really believe in unstructured time and recognition. So we make at least 10% of our time, engineers' times focused on how do you innovate and what do you work on, something that's outside of your day-to-day -day job. And then we recognize that. And again, if you have an opportunity to go look at the kitchen table, you'll see a wall of top innovators in the company which are recognized every year along with the top leaders and top business results. And they get the best gift, they get the gift of time. They get three months to work on their favorite project as a result of that. So, um, great, so that's, that's why I love uh, Intuit as an, engineer, as, as an engineer. Now, why are we here today and why is this relevant to Intuit? So, as I said, we are leaning into service orientation in a big, big way. Uh, it's a corporate key priority. We measure metrics. We're driving adoption. We have definition of strategic services. And in that, in that um, architecture, uh, as we look at application services and delivering those experiences to our customers, Node is our de facto runtime. We're betting big on Node the same way we're betting big on AWS. Uh, and, you know, we have scale. Uh, we have privacy. We have security constraints and all that. We need it to be enterprise grade. We need it to be kick ass. Uh, and uh, much like AWS, where we've partnered very successfully with them to take something that wasn't quite ready for a company like us, we're really leaning in to know to make that happen as well. So with that, um, I want to thank you again and uh, really wish you a great no day. Enjoy.